really enjoy making these videos that may help you go to sleep. Where I just read through some cards with you. This is a box of postcards. Women in science. So it's not just chemistry. It's got mathematicians, physicists, biologists, etc. And these, there's calendars as well as this. She's made books. Rachel Ignatovsky. That's how she does these lovely illustrations and has done a lot of research to make us all more aware of women in science. So I'm gonna dump these out. There's a lot. If you noticed the front, there's a hundred. to just randomly choose them as we go through. Here is a question. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best place to put these. I'm going to put them up here. Okay. Take each one. Here is Maria Sibia Marion, scientist illustrator and entomologist. Here's a quote out of her. Art and nature shall always be wrestling until they eventually conquer one another so that the victory is the stroken line. That's very cool. She classified many new insect species and she was one of the first and most important entomologists. Ooh, I love this. She carefully illustrated the me metamorphosis of the butterfly. So, entomologist, someone who studies insects. Lovely. Elizabeth Blackwell, doctor. She worked with the poor to fight social injustice with medicine. She was the first woman in America, in the United States, to receive a medical degree. And she founded the New York Infirmary for Women and Children and the London School of Medicine for Women. And there's our quote. If the present arrangements of society will not admit of women's free development, then society must be remodeled. Yes. Hertha Ayrton, engineer, mathematician, and inventor. She was the first woman to win a Hughes Medal from the Royal Society in the UK. She invented a better electric arc and furthered our understanding of electrical current. Love that. She was the first woman accepted into the Institution of Electrical Engineers. And here's a quote from her heart. An error that ascribes to a man what was actually the work of a woman has more lives than a cat. I'm guessing that was probably something she uh, experienced. All right. Nettie Stevens was a geneticist. She discovered that sex is determined by X and Y chromosomes. She was one of the first women in the United States to be recognized 
for her biology research. And she changed how we study embryos and cytogenetics. So here was a quote from someone about her. Nettie Stevens had a share in a discovery of importance, and her work will be remembered for this. Florence Bascom. Don't you just love these illustrations? The different colors on each one. Rachel. Ignatowski does such a great job with this. Florence Bascom was a geologist and educator. She was the first woman to work for the U.S. Geographical Survey. She trained almost every female geologist of her time. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. She was an expert on Piedmont Plateau. If you know where the Piedmont Plateau is, you can put that in the comments. <laughs> okay, here is a quote from Florence Bascom. I have considerable pride in the fact that some of the best work done in geology today by women, ranking with that done by men, has been done by my students. That makes me smile. I feel the same way about my students. I'm so, so proud of all of them. The achievements they've made, things that they've done. It's so wonderful. I'm a professor of chemistry, if you did not know that. I'm a professor at Willamette University. That's in Oregon in the United States. Marie Curie, physicist and chemist. I would argue Marie Curie is the most famous female scientist. I can't imagine who might be considered more famous, honestly. Now let me know what you think. All right, Marie Curie pioneered research on radioactivity. She founded the Curie Institute in Paris. She won two Nobel Prizes, one in physics and one in chemistry. And she discovered two elements, polonium and radium. Notice how they were not named after her. A lot of elements that are discovered or if someone played a role in discovering them, they get named after her, but she did not do that. Here's a quote. I was taught that the way of progress is neither swift nor easy. That is so true. All right. Oh, here's another physicist, but she was a theoretical physicist, Emmy Nodler. Might be Nodler, depending on where she's from. Mathematician and theoretical physics. She created the field of abstract algebra. Oh my gosh. She is considered one of the most important people in the field of mathematics. I love that they said she's one of the most important people. They didn't say most important woman. She is amongst all of the great mathematicians. The Nuffler theory connects mathematical symmetry to the conservation of energy. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Wow. My methods are really methods of working and thinking. This is why 
they've crept in everywhere anonymously. Laura. Okay, and there's so many. I'm gonna do, do a few more here. Edith. She invented graphical calculator. Wow. To help solve equations involving hyperbolic functions. Very, very helpful for us, isn't it? She created some of the first software. First software for electrical engineering. I think it was pre computer though. But the same idea, the same fundamental ideas as software. She was an expert in equipment circuits and graphical analysis. says she's the first female electrical engineer, or at least the first known electrical engineer, Edith Clark. There is no demand for women engineers as such as there are for women doctors, but there's always a demand for anyone who can do a good piece of work. So glad I got to this one because I really uh, admire Alice Ball. Alice Ball as a chemist was a chemist. She was the first African American and first woman to graduate from the University of Hawaii. She invented the Ball method. She helped to cure leprosy with her chemical treatment. She did amazing work. There's a really uh, sad story around it, but it has a happy ending. Okay, someone tried to claim her work as his own, but it was discovered, and she is now given credit for it. Unfortunately, she passed away at a young age. We can still honor her legacy. Okay, here's a quote that is not by her, but it is by a professor after she died who said, Men dominated higher education in 1915, and Alice Ball was admitted against the odds. is Gertie Corey, a biochemist. Her work has given us an understanding of carbohydrate metabolism, which is so important in biochemistry, but also in nutrition, right? She co-discovered the Corey cycle, and she won the Nobel Prize in Physiology for Medicine. As a researcher, the unforgotten moments of my life are rare ones, when the veil over nature's secrets seems to suddenly let me down. That's beautiful. Thank you for joining me for the read through of some of these cards. If you enjoyed this, I'd be 
happy to read more with you. There's still many more to go. Look at all these I still haven't read yet. <laughs> There's so many. I could probably sit here for three hours going through them. I could separate them out into different videos or I could carve out some more time to read them with you. Let me know if you do enjoy these reading videos, or if you prefer if I go through chemistry problems with you with writing and drawing using my fountain pens that I usually do. That's, that's my go-to, but sometimes it's fun to mix it up a little bit and do a little bit of reading. so much for being here. If you do want to learn some chemistry, I have over a hundred videos teaching different topics in chemistry. And I am a chemistry professor and I teach by day, but I like to calmly sit here and do ASMR chemistry with you when I have a break. So thank you for joining me as always, and I will see you next time.